lawsuit and that power which the administration well, let me start with this itself. I mean what has happened is that we have undergone a corporate coup d'etat and it's over they won the major structural assaults uh, carried out by the Bush administration have been embraced by the Obama administration all of them whether it is the expansion of imperial war, drone attacks, the looting of the U.S. Treasury by Wall Street, most importantly, the assault on civil liberties. The assault on civil liberties under the Obama administration is worse than under the Bush administration. The radical interpretation of the AUMF to authorize the assassination of American citizens. The FISA Amendment Act, which retroactively makes legal what under our Constitution has traditionally been illegal, the warrantless wiretapping, monitoring, and eavesdropping of American citizens, and we know that all our personal information is stored out in supercomputers in Utah. The use of the Espionage Act, which Dan spoke about, to shut down whistleblowers. I have friends who do investigative journalism, and they will tell you they can't even get a government official to talk to them anymore on background for fear of going to jail. Anything that challenges the official narrative, anyone within the system of power with a conscience who rises up to expose war crimes committed by our government will no longer speak. And finally, the NDAA. And you have to ask why. Why is there steady assault stripping away of our most cherished civil liberties? What's happening? And what's happening is that the corporate state, which is, to use a business term, harvesting the nation, stealing as much as fast as they can on the way down, knows that the combination of economic decline and climate change, and they're running scenarios, I can assure you, in the NSA and everywhere else. They know that eventually there will be blowback. Eventually, people will respond. And they want the powers to, in essence, criminalize any form of dissent. And that's what this is about. Well, I'd, I'd, yeah, sorry. And I, I, Sorry, yeah, I, I, no, I, I just want to, I disagree with absolutely none of that, and there, there's extraordinary <laughs> reason to be distraught in, in general um, about uh, the state of uh, well, well, the state of our country in many respects. Um, but for some.